My name is Tim Clam, and uh, this is my wife, Carrie. And we have two kids, Marissa and Ty, and we've been coming to the sanctuary for three years. We attended a church previously before this, and uh, they went through a generosity initiative to raise money for a new building. And we had both kind of said, all right, how much do we want to give? And we kind of both went away from each other and prayed about it, and then we wrote down some numbers and came back, and we were very challenged by the numbers that we put down and said, ah, we can do it, it's gonna hurt. We could have taken the resources that he had given, he's given us and we could have used it for ourselves or we could have said, you know what, we're challenged to set this amount aside and just give and see what God does with it and see how God provides for us. Um, and we just said, you know what, the investment that we're making now has eternal purposes. It's something that's going to last far longer than anything we could ever drive or live in or send our kids to school in. Um, we just said, okay, that's the right thing to do is follow God's leading. When we put the number down and we said, hey, what can we do? We just felt like in order to take a, a step up of faith and move up into that area, we had to do it. We had to be obedient. We said, hey, God has blessed us. There's no reason why we cannot give this number. And uh, just looking back, even though we don't attend that church anymore, I still go, what a great, I don't regret it one bit. Even though it was a large chunk of change, I don't regret it one bit going, you know what, it was an eternal investment. It wasn't something just for a building, although it might seem like it's a building, it's for something far greater than that. I have thought about involving Marissa and Ty and asking them, here's what our church is doing, would you like to be part of it? Would you like to give some of your monthly allowance for a certain amount of time and just know that um, this is this is the reason we're doing it and, and I think they would want to be a part of that. I think this is a great opportunity for them to know that uh, what our church is doing and that there are steps that we need to take as a body to come together and um, work towards this common goal and Marissa and Ty can be part of that. Kids can be part of it too. Letting the Holy Spirit lead you. Let the Spirit prompt you. If, you, or if you're sitting across from someone and they say they've got a need and you have the, the resources to fulfill it, I think you need to be obedient and just listen to the Spirit lead you and say, all right, if I can help you out, I'm going to do it. And it's really not the amount that he's looking for, it's the heart that you're willing to give what you have. So God doesn't need cash. God just wants willing hearts to give what they've been given. I think everybody's got something to give. Um, and sometimes we hold those things closest to us because we think there's no way. I, I can't afford to do this. My budget is this amount. And um, I think everybody should just try it. Just try it. Test God and see where, where your walk is at. Being part of a generosity initiative is a great opportunity for the whole body to pull its resources together and say, look what we can all do and bring this to fruition where we thought it couldn't be possible. And now we're like, man, all of our little things that we have to offer plus God could bring about something that was way beyond anything we imagined.